In this short series of video clips, I'm going to show you how to dismantle a Fisher-Price music box record player. It's really rather cool, and this one had been uh, languishing in a shed for about 20 years and had consequently seized up. Um, there isn't really much to it, um, and what I'm going to show you is the simplest way to, to take the, the box apart and look at the items to service inside. So by turning it up the other way, you can see four screw holes uh, that um, hold, hold the unit together. And in each of those holes, there's a, uh, a flat blade screw. So remove those. And then you'll see the winder at the front, which seems to be obstructing the unit from uh, coming apart. Now you're probably thinking, how does that come apart without damage? Well, the simplest way to really do that is to gently ease the cabinet back over the lip of the recess where the winding mechanism is. And what you should find is that the that mechanism then slides free, but be very gentle with the plastic. Um, they're quite old now and uh, have probably gone brittle with age. And you'll see what remains is the uh, uh, little mechanism there, which restricts overwinding, which we'll, we'll cover a bit later. It just sits in there like that. And what we've exposed now is the mechanism, which uh, effectively turns the uh, the turntable platter. Now, assuming you've got the base of your turntable apart, you'll be able to see the winding mechanism inside. Clean any dirt or flick, that kind of thing, uh, away from the mechanism and just lubricate all the moving metal parts with something like 3 in 1 oil or WD-40 um, just to ensure that uh, they can all move freely and you'll probably find that that mechanism responds really well. The other thing to be aware of is the turntable. Now obviously this is still the underside but the turntable is held in place by one screw through there. Take that out, it's a little flat blader in this case. Turn that over and this should now be removable. Now all I've done here is just clean the track here that the turntable turns in. I've actually put just a slight trace of white grease which is pretty, uh, pretty stable type stuff and just make sure there's no dirt and grime that could slow slow the turntable down so the record turns freely. I'll just turn that back over again, pop the screw back in. Assuming you're happy with the performance of the winding mechanism, it's time to put the base back on. Uh, on this one, I had to secure the area under the handle with a piece of sticky tape just to prevent it falling down. Um, also have ready the recess that sits in front of the knob there just lined up with the top of the casing ready to take the lid. Now you'll also have to have a couple of goes at this as I did um, just putting the restrictor mechanism in the right uh, part of its cycle there to prevent overwinding. Um, as I said I had a couple of goes at that before I was happy with it. Um, once you're ready place the lid back over the uh, front there making sure that uh, uh, the recess is behind the cabinet. Pay particular attention to that lip and then just gently line up the recess there with the cabinet and then pop the lid back in place and you're ready to put the screws back in. And thanks for watching. Check out this channel for more interesting repairs.